we'll begin by substituting for P of M and P of two in this equation. And we see straight away that this equation is valid for all values of C. Since there are no restrictions on our value of C, it's independent of the other variables. The number of possible values of C is 41. So we can multiply the number of values of A and B by 41. Let's define the polynomial Q as the difference of P of M and P of two. And since we want these quantities to be equal to each other, that means we're just trying to find the roots of Q of M. Let's write this in terms of X and we'll substitute by Vieta's formulas. We have that the coefficient of X squared is the negative sum of the roots. In the problem statement, we're given that m is an integer, and so is 2, and we're given that a is an integer. And since m is one of these three roots, then our third root is also an integer. We're also given that m is unique, which means we don't have a third root that's different, which means in this cubic polynomial, we have one double root. So our three roots for the cubic will look like this, a 2 and a 2, and then a unique value m, or one of our roots is 2, and our double root is m. We'll take a look at these cases in turn. Our first case has roots 2, 2, and m, so our polynomial looks like this. We'll multiply it out and match it up with our coefficients. From the problem, we have that b is an integer between negative 20 and 20 inclusive, so we'll substitute for our coefficient of x. Subtracting 4 and dividing by 4, we get that m is an integer between negative 6 and 4. And recall that m is not allowed to be 2. We can also check a, which is also between negative 20 and 20. And substituting and solving for m, we get a wider interval for m than we did for our restriction on b. So the number of valid values of m, excluding 2, is 10, which means we also have 10 valid values for a and b. Let's go on to case 2, where our double root is m. So this is our polynomial and we'll expand it and we'll compare it to our coefficients with b being an integer between negative 20 and 20 we'll substitute m squared plus 4m to solve this we'll need to complete the square by adding 4 to all three parts of our chain inequality in the center we have the square of m plus 2 this middle part is a perfect square so it's actually greater than or equal to 0 since 5 squared is too big m plus 2 must be less than or equal to 4 or greater than or equal to negative 4 so our restriction on b puts m between negative 6 and 2. Let's check a and we'll substitute. Divide by 2 and subtract 1. And again we have our interval for m is larger than it was for our restriction on b. So we'll pick this one. The number of valid values for m, remembering to exclude 2, is 8, which is also the number of valid values of a and b. Altogether for these two cases we have 8 valid values and 10 more up here valid values for a and b. And independent of that we also had 41 possible values of C. And our answer is 738. If you'd like me to solve any other contest problems, please leave them in the comments.